Now the Moses Kotane local municipality mayor, Getu Ngotwe, is pushing for the permanent reappointment of VBS accused chief financial officer Mzwandile Reginald Mkize, who was arrested and charged with uh, others in the year 2021 by the Hawks. This was for contravening the Municipal Finance Management Act. At the time of his arrest, he was still working at uh, the West Rand District Municipality, and that's where he was subsequently dismissed. Well, Mkize was later hired by the Moses Kotane on a five-year contract, which ended in September of 2023. This was just last month. Well, he is facing allegations of unlawfully investing municipal funds with VBS Mutual Bank. The Moses Kotane Council Speaker is Gugule Tumjali, who joins us now to uh, give us the context here. And Speaker, thank you very much for your time. The mayor of Moses Kotane is the one that is now advocating for the reappointment on a permanent basis of this uh, VBS accused CFO. How did he come to be hired on a contractual basis in the first place with such serious accusations against him? Remember, Oli, we came in, myself as the Speaker of Moses Kotan, Lukan Municipality, I came in 2021, uh, November 21. Mm. Um, as we came in, Mr. Mkise was still the CFO of the municipality up until uh, the end of uh, September uh, 2023. It means... Mr. Mkise has completed his term of office. Therefore, uh, the item was brought before council. That request council to uh, advertise for a post of a CFO since we would not be having the CFO called Ntate uh, Mzwandile uh, The council has indeed agreed and agreed even on a process plan to that regard. Yeah. So I'm still awaiting the report from the panel uh, so that I can take it to council for council to approve. From where I'm seated, I don't even know how it went in the panel. For what I know is that I'm still awaiting for the, 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 the report so that I take it to council as the speaker. What justification was put forward by the mayor alongside whoever supported this move for him to hire someone that is out on bail of 50,000 rand unless that has completely changed. But what did he put forward as justification for doing that? Remember, there was no item in council that was put forward on our arrival on the issue of the CFO and the VBS allegations. Uh, the issue of the VBS came when Ntatem uh, Zwandile Mkise was already in the municipality as the CFO, meaning Ntatem Zwandile Mkise was hired by a previous administration. As we came in, we found Ntatem Zwandile Mkise. So as the advert uh, 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 was, or as the item was brought to council, Ndatem Zwandile Mkise was still, I think that was May, when the, can the item was brought to council for council to resolve. So there is no report or justification that the mayor would have made hmm. because there was no report that has ever surfaced before council that speaks about the VBS matter on the, on around uh, uh, the CFO Ndatem Zwandile Mkise. Okay, all right, now it makes sense. But, what then is disturbing is the mayor advocating that this VBS accused person be hired on a permanent basis, even though the matter before court is even uh, resolved. Is that something that you are going to allow as the legislative arm of the state? Unfortunately, Tully, I can't speak on behalf of the mayor uh, on, on what she's intending to do. I think the mayor can be the relevant person to respond on that uh, 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 question that you are asking me. But 
the executive mayor, they answer to you. You are the council speaker. You have the authority to oppose this. And now, I guess that's what I'm asking. Are you not going to oppose it? Now, we are a collective kind of a municipality in Council of Moses Kotan. Hmm. Decisions are taken as a collective. So as the speaker, I have no responsibility to refuse or reject items that are coming from either the municipal manager or the mayor to cancel. I will consolidate and take out a notice in terms of the council rules of order and inform council and give council documents and the items that need to be engaged on. Is it true that the very same CFO, along with uh, other officials within the municipality, they have been, over the years, this is now according to an anonymous letter, and this is written by a concerned citizen who says, over the years, the very same person who's accused of the VBS crimes, along with other officials, have been overpaid, and the proof is as per the audited and unaudited financial statements uh, between the periods 30 June 2023 and 30 June 2020. So it's a number of years that this person is tracking uh, this amount of money that has been paid. Is there any truth to that? I'm not sure. I'm not aware of that report. But if it is there, I think the municipal manager as the accounting officer of the municipality uh, will take the matter to council for council to engage uh, or give council an information in that regard. From where I'm seated, uh, I'm not aware of any of such. Mm. Councillor Mjali, I want to ask you a question that I don't know whether... You might deem it personal or not, but it's important that we ask this. You will remember the Zondo Commission and how national parliament was effectively chastised for not holding the executive accountable, which then allowed for what we now know to have been state capture in the country. I'm putting you in that same position because you are effectively in the same position except that yours is at a municipal structure level. You are no different to Parliament in terms of holding the executive to account. Do you see anything wrong with what the mayor is proposing here? I'm not asking you to speak for the mayor. I'm asking you to wear your hat as the authority that the executive accounts to? Uh, from where I'm seated again, I am not informed or I don't know any intentions of the mayor in this regard. If the mayor has other intentions outside what governs us, it might be something else. But from where I'm seated, I'm not aware if the mayor might have any intentions to do on this matter because I believe the mayor, equally like myself, must then await because the mayor does not form part and parcel of the uh, panel in this regard. Rem remember, the, 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 the regulations, local government regulations for employment of senior uh, managers, the mayor will be a chairperson for the uh, 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 appointment of the MM, but in this regard, the municipal manager, manager is the chairperson of that panel. Perhaps the mayor is also awaiting, uh, like myself, to get a report so that we engage on the report uh, collectively in the municipality. Speaker, I'm asking for your thoughts as a leader whether this person should be holding this position of CFO in this municipality, knowing very well what he did in the West Rand, or at least he's alleged to have done in the West Rand? Uh, I would not comment on that because I don't even know where the matter of the VBS started and where is it currently as we speak. 
So I will have to engage on the matters and respond to that as a leader if I have more details on this matter. Final question, Speaker. Are you afraid here? Are you afraid to express your opinions? Because what seems to be clear now is that here is a person accused of very serious financial crimes and he is employed in a municipality under which the executive accounts to you as the legislature. Are you afraid to express your opinion about matters of corruption not in at, that municipality? Not, 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 not at all. Not at all. I think I, I will be the first person to raise an alarm on the issues of corruption. But in this case, I'm saying to you, I'm still awaiting a report from the municipal manager. I'm saying it's for the first time I hear about these matters, and I'm still waiting for the municipal manager's report in this regard. Engage, and engage fairly in the report like any other councillor in the municipality. Remember, before I become a speaker, I'm also a member of council as a, a councillor in the, in the, in the municipality. All right. Councillor Kuguletu Mjali is the speaker at the Moses Kotane local municipality. Thank you very much for your time.